Okay, this video is going to be about how to set light mode and dark mode on macOS for terminal apps. Terminal apps, mainly Alacrity and Kitty, and then also things like Spacebar, too. This is my, Spacebar is my little bar up there. So, I hope you guys find this video helpful because when I started learning about this, like, two years ago, I could not figure it out, and it took me like two whole weeks to try to figure out. I couldn't figure it out and then I gave up and then on and off it took me another six months to um, of uh, like searching and I finally found this C Mac Cray. I think he's the person that um, wrote Spacebar. So he wrote Spacebar this pro program and I just was looking at this blog and luckily I was able to find some guidance on this so I guess before we start on everything I can just you know you want to see a demo right so let me give you a demo right now it's an auto it's light it's only uh, 8 30 right now so it's light themed but let's make it dark themed and it's gonna take a few seconds for it to go into dark theme because um, it's not a native Mac app so BAM there you go, look at that. If I set it back to auto, it should go back to light. Give it a few seconds. Weird. It should go back to light. What is going on? Well, it does work. <laughs> Why is auto? Oh, that's because when I set it to dark, it was 8.30. And I think macOS internal theme <laughs> just went to dark mode. That's why. Well, there you go. So now you know I'm not BSing you. This is literally what's happening live. So let's see. So how do we do this? Okay, um, this this tutorial you can go into here. It's pretty good. I think it, it's confusing for me as a noob because I it's a little bit hard to figure out how he's doing this. Like, what kind of script is this, and where do he, where does he use it? The reason why is he's using this. He's trying to get it to work with uh, with one of his. Programs. I think he uses something like, where is it? I think he uses Nix. Yeah, he uses Nix to like, to like run all of his programs under. So if you don't want to, I don't want to use Nix. If you don't want to use Nix, then yeah, it can be a little bit confusing. But basically the steps are, you're basically going to run default to read um, Apple interface style and that's going to tell you whether or not there is a zero exit or not based on that zero code then you sh you can run a script right that's base that's kind of the start and then there's this you know global you running a daemon on mac os that when there's a change in in the light or dark mode it should modify and run that script too so let me just show you the script before I show you the exact script, let me just show you a very simple version. So this is um, Alacrity right now. Let's see if I go to, let's go to, my ZSHRC here and go to, I've set this alias to run, and what this alias does is it, it reads, okay, let me, let me show you this first. If you can see that, it's gonna tell you that it's dark, and if, if, 
it's not in dark mode, it's going to read an error, right? So that's basically what that does. And this is basically like an if statement where I have an if statement and then if it's if it's dark, then if it is actually dark, then I use this is for kitty. So there's alacrity and then there's kitty terminal. I've been able to figure it out for both, but alacrity runs better. I'm just showing you the one for kitty because you can actually set colors live in kitty. So um, it this this basically okay. Let's see how do I explain this. It's a little bit complicated. Um, let's run kitty. As you can see, kitty is white right now. Um, it is in light mode, and then if if I run this, oops, weird copy error. If I run this, it turns dark. So what does that do? If we go into my, if we go into my, if we go into my kitty folder, I have three files. I have the kitty conf. And then I have the I have a light themed, to, which is I called it tomorrow, and then tomorrow night is my dark theme. So basically, what it does is my um, I I source this theme this theme conf to my kitty conf, and then um, in in my alias. I'm basically telling it to set tomorrow night or set tomorrow as my main theme. So actually you don't really need the theme conf. It's just if you wanted to do something else, like if you wanted to run, um, here I have whenever I, I hit a hotkey, um, it, it will, it's gonna set, it's gonna clear my um, kitty theme conf and then it's gonna do this command check if they check if it's dark mode and then basically put basically echo in um, or redirect the info from my tomorrow night to my kitty theme conf and then and then I have another I have another script that starts kitty so that it, it runs perfectly right in the right theme but that's a little bit convoluted so I'm just showing you because this first because it's a little bit easier to kind of, um, you know, it's a little bit easier to wrap your head around. Um, so how do we get into the other scripts? Um, let's go to, I think it's, I think it's called auto theme. So, you what you do is you have an auto theme script right if i run this script i can basically run this script and it's gonna do for me what maybe i should turn it off <laughs> or i can do it before it, it flips so um if i run this script right let's say i do dark really quick and I come back here before it loads and then I run this script then you see that that it's a lot fat it, I can run the script and it basically is going to turn my light to dark my dark to light right oh now it's doing it really fast let me run the script again yeah there you go yeah you see that and then if I just let it load and I'm not actively running it, then yeah, it still works. So um, if you have, if you, I mean, if you could cannot figure out the entire, like how do I set a plist and how do I run daemons on macOS because it's actually pretty complicated, I would still just build something like this. And I'm not gonna include a link to the file to it. You'll just have to, you'll just have to, uh, pause the video and just type it out yourself. So, or go into CMA Cray's blog and uh, basically use this, okay? Um, so what, 
what you, yeah, what I have here is basically right now I have an if statement and it's going to run that command to, you know, default to read Apple interface style. And then it's going to, depending on whether or not it returns a zero code or an error code, it's going to set the mode to be dark or light. And then I have three commands. I have spacebar switch theme, which is to switch my spacebar theme. I have this kitty switch theme, but I'm not going to use because my default right now is alacrity because it works better. And then I have um, yabai switch theme, which, you know, it doesn't, I mean, for yabai, like it only gives me this up uh, during the daytime. I like it to be a, a brighter blue, I think. And then during the darker time, I like this uh, kind of border to be a darker. So it doesn't make that big of a difference, but here's kind of how you do it. Uh, a few key things to point out about this. If you're doing Mac OS, then this took me so long to figure out and it's gonna save you so much headache if you try to figure it out, is you can't do like, you can't just run spacebar dash M config background color. Like you have to run slash user slash local slash bin because that's how the Mac OS reads it. It doesn't actually read um, the short version of it, you know? I don't know why um, that is, but yeah, that'll save you a lot of trouble. Uh, so the nice thing about Alacrity is that you don't need to run any particular command to it. Once you kind of, ch um, for here, like I'm copying tomorrow night conf, or in you know it's a YAML file, but I'm copying it into my Alacrity con config, so it you don't need to run any particular command. Alacrity live switches when whenever you change the config, which is nice. Okay. Okay, we're almost done with this video. <laughs> I try to get through things these things quick, but uh, I also want to explain a little bit more to give a little bit more context. Um, how do you do launch daemons? Well, what I would recommend is watching a video on launch daemons. You know, I I use this one from O'Reilly video training. I just watched a bunch from from YouTube on how to do it. Basically, you know, you kind of go and make a uh, something .plist file, and then you make it into, and then you go into the directory that's your root directory library launch agents. And then um, there's this like typical structure for a launch daemon or, or for your plist. And then you kind of have to change the array and change the key uh, in order to make it right. This, I need to put in the path to the application that I want to run, the console application in this case. So we're going to, going to get out of there, or, but we can explicit you know, file name. And then after you set it right, then you do launch CTL load and, and you load your plist. So if you want to, I'll, I'll show you mine. Let's see, what was it? What area do you read? Root library launch agents. Library launch agents. So here's mine, all of theme.plist. So yeah, basically you put this in, um, you can follow mine here. And I think most of these are pretty stock. I think I was exploring something with kitty, which is why I have this random string here. I don't think you need it. Um, and then one of the things too is you have to keep your, you have to write auto theme for the name of the script that you're going to run. And then you also have to put the path and remember, put the full path here. <laughs> you can't just, yeah, you can't just do root. You can't just do the wobbly key. You know, you know, what I'm you know what I'm talking about. You can't just do this wobbly key for root. You have to actually type out the whole path to the script and then um, watch paths. So there's different types of um, launch daemons. Some allow you to run like when a file is changed or something like that. Others allow you to run every five minutes. Watch paths, I think, is where 
you are wanting for a change in a particular folder and if that folder changes which for mac os it's this global preferences.plist the way mac os i think the way it works is that whenever you change whenever the, it changes to dark theme some code gets changed in this this global preferences that plist file um, so you're basically watching for that change and then you're execute you're executing this script whenever that changes and yeah i think that's it i'm i'm hopeful that this you know i mean dark theme and light theme is like one of those key things that i need for my setup i can't yeah yeah i can't really like work without dark theme and light theme it's just like it's just so much better experience when you have a when you have a the right theme because you don't have weird glare issues so i'm i hope for your computing experience it will level up and just have a better experience after this video thanks thanks for watching